Hi, I'm Chris Martinson of Peak Prosperity. It is Saturday, December 12th, 2015. Here's your update. Uh, listen, so much happened this week. Uh, it, it's really hard to know where to get started. We saw the markets really begin to fall apart in some really key ways, something we've been expecting for a long time because the internals have looked horrible. Uh, even though the headline indexes are up or very elevated or very high, what we're seeing underneath when you peer in there, lots of things that don't make a lot of sense, don't look good if you're a stock bull and you're expecting equities to continue to power higher. Uh, you know what's coming up this week is, is the Fed decision. I think they are optically and politically locked into raising rates. It's going to be a complete disaster, even if they do the little tiny little bit of a, a rate hike because the market internals are awful. A couple of things we're tracking very closely at peak prosperity, of course, would be looking at things like uh, junk debt. Junk debt's having an absolutely horrible time. Uh, looks like 2008, 2009 all over again. The price of oil, the price of oil closed this week below the 2009 lows on a weekly basis and brand new low for oil that we now have to go back before 2009 all the way into the early 2000s to find an equivalent price. This is a complete disaster for all of the shale oil companies out there, particularly, but oil companies in general. We saw Kinder Morgan's uh, stock price, which is just a, an alleged middleman in this whole uh, energy business, doing the pipelines and, and all the, you know, sort of the picks and shovels kind of an approach to the oil business. Their stock just got absolutely crushed, of course. <laughs> Why not? They've taken on massive amounts of debt to fund stock buybacks and to pay dividends. Their earnings are just not there to support the valuation that they had on that company. So we're seeing uh, big names like that really take a big hit. But of course, they should have. This is the end stage of a bubble. The Fed's going to hike rates at the tail end of a very disastrous bubble. And uh, even if it's just a quarter percent, that's going to spill over into emerging markets where we saw extraordinary pain. Mexico's uh, peso hit a, uh, a, a brand new low, over 17 to the dollar. You know, it had been at 16, I was concerned. Now it, it just vaulted right over 17. The South African Rand also plummeting uh, compared to the dollar. So when we look at all these things, put them all together, the emerging markets are clearly in a lot of difficulty. Uh, and that's only going to be made worse if the Fed hikes and we have a stronger dollar as a result of all the flooding money in the world looking for at least some sort of a yield. Because you know, if you're trying to save money and you're in Europe, and you're uh, trying to save with a large bank and trying to save a large amount of money, you have to accept a negative rate of interest. And because people are so concerned about getting a minus 0.2% from their big bank over there, say Deutsche Bank, on their, on their large amounts of money, what have they been doing instead? Well, they have been buying German five-year bonds, getting a tasty return of minus 0.4%, minus 0.4%. To, to give your money to the German government for five years. It's astonishing. So these are the sorts of developments that we're tracking in the big two-parter that we've got going on at the site right now. The two-part report is about gold. Now, gold has a very strong fundamental case to be made for why it should be much higher in price than it is right now. But of course, it isn't very high in price. It had an okay day on Friday, but, but it's not very high. It's been going down for a long time. And that's because uh, a great interview that's coming out pretty soon that I just recorded with Grant Williams. He, the, the author of, of the, the titled uh, blog uh, called Things That Make You Go Hmm. Uh, he's a great writer, just brilliant and uh, fascinating conversation. He was, and I were talking about gold and he said, you know why gold's been going down here in the West, Chris, is because uh, nobody cares. All the people who have all the big money, they, they don't care. They don't care about gold. They, they don't, it's just a play thing. So, they sell it in the paper futures market. They don't, they don't care. Uh, and nobody in the Western government seems to understand the historical role of gold and how it might be important to hold on to it. So nobody cares. That's his thesis. And because nobody cares, we've been selling all the gold in the West to the people in the East, China and India in particular. And so uh, it's just astonishing to see all of the West's gold flooding to the East. China's been buying 50 to 60 tons per week. Uh, India is about half that, maybe a little, little north of half that, depending on the season, it's as it, it's, it's high as that, uh, but overall about half. 
uh, also buying like crazy uh, at these prices. So, so that's the, you know, there's a fundamental case to be made for gold. Listen, could the price go lower? Absolutely. We have insane markets right now. Insane. Just as insane as to, as to value Kinder Morgan at 148 times earnings or net cash flows. Uh, it's just as insane to just be selling willy-nilly all these uh, other things that are actual valuable commodities. So it's, it's crazy ter- topsy-turvy world. Come check it out. Uh, and I think economically what we saw this last week was the kind of damage that's going to be very hard for the authorities to reverse. And uh, you know they'll try. Uh, they'll, they'll talk it up. And who knows, they may even do whatever they do behind the scenes to uh, try and prop market, markets up. We'll watch all of this happen, but it feels to me like something is afoot now. We have some really interesting developments developments in the market, so we're going to keep an eye on that. So once again, uh, come on by Peak Prosperity. If you haven't, sign up uh, for this and subscribe to this channel, and uh, we'll see you next time.